tested um, trains in and out of stadium before, this is the first time, uh, call it a dress rehearsal if you like. So give us the opportunity to sit down and look at the overall picture, what is best for the passengers when they arrive at stadium station. We've got our depot masters and depot managers who are coordinating the train drivers on the ground. We've got security staff patrolling the areas network and infrastructure who are working, looking at points, signalling. We've got people from overhead here looking at the overhead power. Our passenger service managers are here to get a sense of how the train operation will work around Stadium Station. Drivers are very keen to have been chosen to come in here for the first time. They've seen it over the five years being constructed from a sand pit in the ground to a magnificent world-class stadium station that we have. It's just a perfect stadium line to be picked out of the number of drivers we have. Yeah, it's definitely a privilege. So virtually there's no um, public car parking at Stadium Station. The whole precinct is designed around people catching public transport to the event and you're basically delivered right at the doorstep of Stadium Station. Juvenile line passengers, platform three. Fremantle line passengers, platform four. We've still got probably about uh, 12 trains sitting back there in the stage, so uh, I'll keep marshalling them forward so we get the passengers out as quick as possible on a real event. <laughs> So what you're seeing now is the trains moving. This is what will happen when the event at the stadium has finished. Our passengers will arrive at the station and see all these trains moving to get them home. We will sit down and review everything that's happened to make sure we deliver a fantastic product for our passengers. The PTA has delivered a fine project and I look forward to the day we're carrying thousands of passengers to Perth Stadium Station.